In this video, we will be going over how to modify 2D entities. The modify tools are found in the modify menu and along the right side toolbar. The tools we will be focusing on in this video are also found in the modify toolbar, which we can bring up by right clicking a blank area of the user interface, then checking modify. Notice that all the tools are grayed out. This is because there is no geometry available to modify. I will go ahead and open an existing drawing, which can be downloaded by following the URL in this video's description. Wow! There's certainly a lot going on here. Luckily, I have organized different parts of this drawing into views, which we can access from the design director. You can bring up the design director by hitting F3 on your keyboard. Let's start with line length. The line length tool extends or shrinks one end of a line segment based on where you click it. You can also enter specific values into the inspector bar. So for example, if I wanted to make a line segment two inches shorter on the right side, I would click on the line segment near the right side, tab into the delta length field of the inspector bar, and enter negative two. If used on a polyline or closed entity, connected segments will be adjusted so the endpoints of each line will remain connected with the opposite endpoint remaining anchored. Now let's look at the trim tool. Object Trim removes geometry from an existing entity using another entity as a cutting edge. Once the cutting edge has been selected, you simply click on the geometry you would like removed. Multiple edges can be selected to trim geometry between entities. If there is no entity to use as a cutting edge, Operation by Line allows you to draw one on the fly. If you would like the trimmed entity to remain closed, you can use the Extract Closed Entity option. This joins the remaining arcs and segments to create a closed entity. You may notice another trim tool on this toolbar. This tool is designed for the LTE interface to mimic the trim tool in AutoCAD. Now on to Split. Split Entity will split a line segment arc or curve into two segments at the chosen point. Segments connected to other entities will remain connected. To create two separate entities, you would need to split a closed entity twice. Let's look at Shrink and Extend. Shrink Extend behaves similarly to the Trim tool, except you first select the entity you would like to shrink or extend, then the entity you would like to extend or shrink to. If used on a double line, it will clean up the intersection. You can perform these operations simultaneously on multiple entities using the Multi-Shrink Extend tools. Entities are selected by drawing a line through these entities near the endpoint that will be moved. Now for the Stretch tool. The Stretch tool allows you to stretch entities by selecting nodes and moving them a specified distance. To select the nodes, draw a fence around the vertices you would like to be moved. You then select a base point, followed by the length and angle to set the trajectory of the stretch. Now let's take a look at Arc Complement. Arc Complement reverses the start and end angle of an arc, giving you the other side of the arc as if it were part of a circle or an ellipse. Next up is Meet Two Lines. Meet Two Lines will trim or extend two lines so that they meet in a corner. Using the Two Polyline option, lines are joined and closed entities can then be constructed. When selecting the first entity for the corner trim, be sure to click near the endpoint you would like unchanged. Now for the Detail Section tool. Detail creates an enlarged section of a 2D sketch using either a closed polygon or a circle to define the enlarged area. Here I will use the circle option and enlarge this detail by a scale of four. Let's take a look at the fillet tool. The fillet tool creates an arc between two line segments. When used on line segments that are not connected, the tool behaves similarly to the meet two lines tool. The radius of the fillet can be changed in the inspector bar. An existing fillet can also be changed by selecting the segments connected by an arc. When used on parallel lines, the fillet tool creates an arc end cap. Next up are the chamfer tools. The chamfer tool is used to cut away the corner of an entity to create an angle. While usually 45 degrees, the chamfer tool can be used to create a bevel at any angle, using a variety of methods. Chamfer distance distance creates a bevel by entering the distance from the corner for each segment with distance A being the first segment selected and distance B being the second. 
Chamfer distance angle creates a bevel by entering the distance of side A with the angle used to define side B. Finally, chamfer length and angle creates a bevel by entering the length of the beveled edge and the angle between the corner and the first segment selected. And that's it for this video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and download the latest version of TurboCAD from TurboCAD.com today.